Hello everyone. Welcome to Cisco DNA Center's training series. My name is Surya Prakash. I am a technical marketing engineer at Cisco working on DNA Center. In this video, I am going to show you how to replace a stack switch using Cisco DNA Center's device replacement workflow. Imagine if there has been a failure of one of the stack switches in your network and you recently received an RMA to replace it. Now as a network admin, you are tasked with replacing the faulty switch with a newly received RMA1. In this video, I am going to show you how using Cisco DNA Center's device replacement workflow, you can easily replace the faulty stack switch with just few clicks. Before going through the workflow, let's talk about some of the challenges that you as a network admin would have faced while replacing any device in your network manually. It requires a technical person to be at the site with console access to the device to carry on several tasks. One of the tasks could be image upgrade or downgrade on the new device. The new RMA unit that you received might have a code running on it which is not as per your network standards or it's not matching the code that is running on the faulty unit. In that case, the tech person at the site will have to copy the intended code to the new device and start the upgrade activity. The other task would be to copy paste the configuration on the new device from the backup of the faulty unit. Now there is a chance that the copy paste did not work properly and a few lines got missed. And as a network admin, you would not want that. DNA Center is capable of automating the entire process using the device replacement workflow, starting with onboarding of the new device, image upgrade or downgrade to match it to the faulty unit's code. It also copies over the configuration from the faulty unit to the new switch stack. DNA Center also takes care of the registration of the device for smart licensing with Cisco Smart Software Manager and also since DNA Center has an integration with ICE, once the device is onboarded, DNA Center updates the device entry on the ICE for network authentication. Before we get into the demo, let's look at the prerequisites for starting the replacement workflow. You will need to make sure that the faulty switch stack is disconnected from the network and is in unreachable state from the DNA Center. You will also need to make sure that the new RMA units that you have received are already stacked using stack cable. Once the switch is stacked, you need to connect the uplink to the network switch where the faulty unit was connected before. Now with this, let's get started with the demo. Go to the main menu, provision, inventory. From here, locate the device. This is where my faulty stack switch unit is. Now, I have made sure that the device is disconnected from the network and it is in unreachable state from the DNA center. If you see the device status, it has gone into device unreachable state. Let's change the focus to device replacement. Select the device, actions, device replacement. We will need to mark the device for replacement here. This changes the status of the device or ready for replacement. So the device is ready for replacement now. You can again select the device, actions, device replacement and replace the device. Here we will have to choose the replacement device. We can either have the device onboarded by a PNP and claim it from here or we can choose the device from the inventory directly. You will see I have already discovered a new switch stack and added to the inventory. So I am going to choose this stack. This takes us to the scheduled replacement page. Here we get an option to either schedule the replacement later to a future date or do it right away. We can select any date that we want and the time and the DNA center will start the workflow accordingly. So let's do it now. Here we can have a look at the details of whatever we have selected for the workflow till now. The replacement device serial number along with the iOS image that will be copied on the new switch stack and it will be upgraded. We can also have a look at the schedule of the replacement 
as you can see the schedule is right now with this we'll go ahead with the replacement now let's go and monitor the status this takes us back to the inventory page we'll again go back to the original site where the faulty switch stack was let's see the status of the device it has moved to in progress to view the detail click on in progress you can see different operations that are going to happen currently it is running readiness check on the replacement device to make sure it is able to copy the image on the device and also the new device has enough space in the flash for the code to be copied once it is done it will start with the distribution and activation phase of the image upgrade now once the distribution and activation phase is completed there are multiple pre checks and post checks that are run on the device to make sure things are correct on the new onboarded device so these are the list of pre and post checks that are run now once the device is up and running other operation starts like the faulty device is removed from cssm and license is deployed on the replacement device dns center also starts configuring the new device the new device will be configured with the backup of the faulty stack which is configuration the device is then added to the cssm dns center also updates the device entry on ice for network authentication and finally at the end dns center is going to remove the faulty device from inventory now if we go back to the inventory you will see that it has the new switch stack you can verify it with the serial numbers the device is up and running and is in reachable state upgraded with new code with this we have reached the end of this video here is a list of comprehensive references you can take a look at them for more information for more training videos visit cisco dns center youtube channel Thank you for watching.